Today we're going to assemble the Pilling Cotille IMA Retractor. It comes with two blades, uh, chest blades. One is wider, one is narrow. And it has an atraumatic end and a paddle end. These crank closed. This, if you want to release them, you just push that. They open wide. This is the wide one, same thing. They would normally go like this, so you'd have the wider one is closer to the rack. The skinnier one is usually closer to the patient's head. This is the blade bar. Uh, this is the longitudinal retraction bar with the rack on it. This is the pinion that goes in the horizontal bar into the rack, and this is the handle for the pinion. When you assemble this, one side is larger than the other, so you're gonna to wanna to put the handle on the larger side. It also has a wide end and a narrow end where this post is gonna go in. It won't go in that way. You can only do it from this direction. So that snaps in. When you're gonna assemble this, there's a opening right here, this notch, and that's where you have to put it in. Once you have the bar, horizontal bar in, it just slides right in. And there you have it, this cranks down. Okay. And then you wanna put the blades on. There's a little post here, a little ball that holds, holds them on the bar. You just push it over that, go in. Same thing for the other one. And you're ready. What I'm going to do here is to demonstrate how um, you can quickly move from the left internal memory artery over to the right hand side and yet keep the rack down towards the feet so you're not having to crank up near the head and the chin. So it's just a more convenient way of doing this. In this normal position, you'd have the crank on the outside, lifting up. You have the teeth, wide is on the inside towards the rack. The smaller blade with the teeth is up towards the head. You compress to get a grip onto the chest wall. So that's the Lima side. Now, if you were in the same procedure, then you were going to flip it the other way around. What you do is take the blades off. There's a little ball uh, stopper here that holds them in place. Just push past it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip them around the other way so that still the blade is to the bottom, wide closer to the rack. I'm just opening it up so it's better visualization. Here's the narrow side, the narrow blade. Lower the stop. And then so now we're gonna use it so that it will go into the chest wall this way. But in order to hang want to crank on this side, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this. If you have the, the crank handle in line, it pops right out. If you try to remove it from the wide side here, it locks it and it won't come off. So you have to go straight in line. It's the skinny side and it pops right off. So you flip this over to this side. Do the same thing, you can't put it on this way. You have to put it on this way. And it just goes right in, and here you are, you can crank it, and that's your Rima, your right internal memory artery exposure. I'm going to disassemble the Pilling Cutile IMA retractor. This is the fully assembled version, as you can see it here. It comes with two blades, a horizontal bar for the blades and a longitudinal uh, bar with a rack. It also has a um, hand, crank handle with a pinion inside of it. So to start this, we're gonna take off the blades. There's just a little ball valve that holds them on to place. These also have a little ratchet that opens them up. There you go. Pull them up, just so you can see. Here's the handle. We're gonna crank it up to this space right here, 
past the last tooth on the rack, and that will allow us to pull the pinion out. So you just pull it like this. Once you get up here flush, the pinion comes right out, the bar lifts off, cut those pieces, and then you can actually take the handle off the pinion if there is a skinny end right here across the top, and there's a thick end. So if you have it to the sides, it won't come off, but if you have it right in, in line, then it comes right out. Okay? You got the two pieces, the pinion and the crank handle.